All right, so our user interface is starting to look very good. Um, the next thing we want to do is we know that our movie may have, has potential, has a lot of information. So I'm going to show you something really interesting. So what I want to do next is to add a little uh, arrow, down arrow or so. So when it clicked, it's going to expand this card to show more information. So down here, after these released there, outside, actually has to be outside this row here. Let's go ahead and add a an icon. I'm going to say icon like this. And let's use icons, right? I'm going to say field. And I want the keyboard arrow up. In this case, arrow down first. And content is going to be down arrow like that. Okay. And let's go ahead and add, put this in a new line. Let's go ahead and add a modifier here. So modifier and I want size to be about 25 dp. And while I'm here, I'm also going to say dot. And I want this to be also clickable, as you will see. I'm going to say clickable like this, okay? And I'm also going to change the tint color, the color of this to dark gray like this. Okay, let's look at our split code. Let's refresh. All right, that's really, really large. That means I am not, let's see, that's not the right place. So, All right, this has to be, let me get this out of here. All right, this icon actually, we need to be inside of our column just there let's refresh okay this needs to be inside here okay just right below there okay now now that we have that arrow what we want to do is as follow we want to make sure that when this is clicked we drop or we increase in this case the size we expand the size of this of this row so we can see more information now this information is going to be where so first of all let's go up here right after we have our release so so on top of this arrow we're going to add a column yet another column yes inside of a column all right so this is where we're going to have the information that's going to be hidden the idea here is very simple we want to make sure that of course, like I said, when this is clicked, we have to have a variable, a state, right, that will know whether this is clicked or not, or not, right? If it's clicked, if it's on, we're going to show something. If not, we're going to co collapse it. So what we need is actually, yes, you guessed it. At the top here, we're going to create a val called this expanded, right? And I'm going to say by, use delegation here by remember like that it's going to be mutable state of say false first so this is going to be a so this is going to be so it's going to be a boolean let's go ahead and see what we can do right this has to be mutable state not mutable list mutable state of and false in the beginning and let's see if we can Go ahead and import all what we need and there we go so now we have our state here we, that will control everything so where is that going to be called well we're going to call that inside of the icon on click here clickable so i'm going to say here very simply expanded in this case is going to be equal to the opposite so i'm going to toggle it to the expanded of the expanded Let's change that to var, yes, because we're changing it. Okay, so this is going to allow us to toggle. So if it's true, then you click, it's going to be false. Click again, it's going to be true. So it's going to toggle back and forth, right, when we click this icon. So what do we want to show? I'm going to put text here real quick. Hello, 
there so we can see this in action. But how do we then toggle that visibility, right? Because we want this to be visible or expand itself if it's clicked and retract itself also if it's clicked if, if it's false. So we're going to wrap this inside of this animated visibility. Look at that. There is indeed a function or a composable function that is called animated visibility. And here we're going to pass the expanded Boolean state. So all of this then, I'm going to put that inside as such. Now, you see we have a problem here. If you have over, it's going to say this is an experimental animation API. To solve this, we have to add this at experimental animation API annotation to view to movie row. What is this? Well, as the name imply, experimental, that means it's still being worked on. They're not sure if this is going to be forever in the APIs, in the uh, Compose APIs for us to use. But as it is right now, we can actually use it. But we have to annotate this with at experimental animation. Okay. So I'm going to annotate that and then we should be good. Looks like I have a problem. Let's say Alt Option Enter again and voila. So whenever you have issues, make sure, especially with Remember, make sure to import because there are a lot of imports that have to happen in order for this to work. All right. So now let's go ahead and refresh this real quick. Okay. What I can do instead of actually running this directly on an emulator, I'm going to start interactive mode. So we are able to click and see if this works. Okay, let's see. If I click this button there, voila, you see hello there is showing. Right? If I click back, it's going to hide. Very good. Just like that, we have this very nice animation. Now, the one thing I want to make sure to happen is that this arrow has to change directions, right? If it's collapsed, when we click, we're going to show whatever we need to show, and then we're going to change the direction to show up, right? How do we do that? Well, you should know how to do this at this point. It's very simple. Let's go back to code where we have the icon here. So inside of the image vector here, I can put an if statement in line if statement here. I'm going to say if in this case expanded is true, then the icon is going to be up arrow up, right? Because we want to make sure to say, yep, you can then the icon is going to be arrow up. Else, the icon in this case, I'm going to say icons dot field dot keyboard down. Just like that. Let's take a look. Let's refresh. Okay, let's see. Click, voila. Click and we are toggling back and forth. The other thing I need to do here, just to make sure, is to change the size of the whole card. Because as you see here, if you look at our card, I am I have this fixed height. That's not going to help because we want to make sure that the expansion, if we have a lot of text that we're going to show, which is actually the case in a second here. We want it to be dynamic, meaning the expansion is going to expand to the max height that it needs. So we're going to just comment out the height. All right. So now inside of our animated visibility here, we have a column, we have the text. I'm going to add the actual information I want to add. So here I'm going to get rid of that, put a text. Now you notice here there's two kinds of text functions overloaded. There's a text simple that we've been using. There's this other one called annotated string. So let's use that annotated string. So for our annotated string, we can actually pass for our text here. Let's go to remove all of this. We can pass the build annotation or annotated string lambda as such. What this allows us to do is to actually change individual strings that we want to show, right? For instance, if I have a string that says hello there, okay, with annotated string, I can separate to say this hello here, I want to have color red, be bold, and italic, and so forth. However, this there, I can change that to something else too, right? So we can annotate each 
string that we want. In fact, we can even annotate each character, meaning if I want to change this T to a different color, I can do so. So this gives us more flexibility. Okay, so we have to pass the build annotated string as such. So inside here, we can then say something like this with style like that, and we can pass a style. So we see here with style, it takes our we can pass the style, the paragraph, and so forth, and we can pass the block, which is the actual annotated string. We'll see. So in this case, I'm going to just pass style. And for the style, I'm going to pass a span style. So I can then say, for example, the color of this spam here, span that is, it's going to be color dot dark gray, like this. And I can continue. I can say font size. Is going to be about 13.sp. Right? Let's go ahead and import sp. And then I also have a block in this width here. If I hover over, you can see we have this annotated uh, string builder. So now we're building the actual string. So in this case, I'm going to append. You say append to append to add. Could be a string, could be a char, in this case, a text string, right? So I'm going to say something like this plot and then space and then outside here I'm going to create yet another with style right and do the same thing I'm going to say style span style pass the color dark gray and then I'm going to pass a font size 13 SP. And for this one also font weight, I want this to be bold. Then of course, in our block here, I have to pass the actual annotated string. So I'm going to say append. In this case, I'm going to say movie and get the plot. So I'm just changing each part of my text. So this plot here is going to have this style that we pass. And then I'm going to put inside of another block here, another um, compose function with style. I pass the style and I append in the trailing lambda and I pass movie.plot. Right, let's go ahead and see real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and click and see. And voila, you can see this style is looking really good. Right, I say plot, and you see there it's looking decent, and the animation is working.